Growing up, I was always the kid who chose to play with Legos instead of dolls. I was very fortunate that my parents saw this, and because of that, I enrolled in the Science Academy, which is a magnet school for engineering. I had an amazing time there, and I really solidified that I love design. The question was, what was I going to design? So it started out with houses. I wanted to go into architecture, and actually I applied into Rice in the architecture department. And on the supplemental, I guess, forum, when they ask you what majors are you interested in, on a whim, I picked mechanical engineering as my second one. And I actually firmly believe in Steve Jobs' idea of connecting the dots, because one of the most important dots in my life has actually been accidentally putting mechanical engineering on my application form. I came to Rice, and the next thing I wanted to design was cars. I love sustainability and putting that together with cars, so I joined the solar car team and I actually became the president of that organization my sophomore year. And it was an amazing experience being able to compete at the Shelly Co Marathon and winning second place with our very first car. But cars just wasn't it either. One of the most fundamental like, times that I've had at my, like, in my time here at Rice has been actually an NG120. And I was designing a wheelchair for a patient with arthrogryposis. You don't have the strength and muscle uh, mobility that normal people have. And he comes from, a, um, the patient that we were working with uh, comes from a low socioeconomic background, so we had to be able to create a design that was completely mechanical. Finally, after building three prototypes, we get to go to, over to Shriners Hospital to test him. And I remember it, it was one day, five o'clock, we've spent a lot of sleep, sleepless nights working on this project as a team, and he's, around, he's going around the second floor of Shriners Hospital, just really excited that he's finally been able to move the wheelchair by himself. This is the first time he's ever been able to do something like that. And I just tell him, I'm like, hey, like, all right, we're ready to go home. Like, we can push you back into your wheelchair. And he looks up at me and he says, can I just go one more time? And he takes one more round around the second floor of Shriners Hospital. And when I saw the smile on his face, that was when I knew that the design that I wanted to be doing was impacting people's lives through medical devices. The wheelchair in particular has actually set me on the trajectory for where I want to go in life. I actually applied for GE Healthcare's internship program, and I was very fortunate that out of the 90 people that applied, I was one of the 13 that was given the full-time job offer. And so I honestly could not say any of that if it wasn't for me having come to Rice and been on that NG120 project to begin with.